Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll see how we can able to calculate the land surface temperature using Landsat 8 and Landsat 9 dataset using the GE platform, that is a Google Earth engine. So first we need to understand how we can able to calculate the land surface temperature. So to understand this, I'm having one flow chart in that it is explained how we can able to calculate the land surface temperature. So first we require a Landsat imagery that is a Landsat 8 or Landsat 9 or a Landsat 5. So there is a difference in the formula for the Landsat 5. I'm explaining here for the Landsat 8 and Landsat 9. So in the Landsat 8 and Landsat 9, first thing is that we need to calculate the type of the atmospheric radiance using the band 10 data set. So here if you'll see the Landsat 8 bands, in that Landsat 8 bands, band 10 and band 11 is a thermal band. Okay. So if you'll search the Landsat 8 band data set, you will get the details about all the bands. So we require actually this band 4, band 5 for NDVI and this band 10 and band 11 we can able to use to calculate the land surface temperature. So to calculate the land surface temperature, this is resampled to 30 meter as well. So this thermal band we are getting in Landsat 8 and as well as in Landsat 9 data set. So before understanding this code, we need to understand how this work actually. So first we'll understand this flow chart and then we'll see the details about this code. Okay. So first thing is that we require a band 10 data. After downloading the band 10 data, we'll get these values that is ML into means QCAL is our band 10 and plus AL value. We'll get this from the metadata. So we need to calculate the top of the atmospheric radiance. So if you're going to see the Landsat data set, when you'll download, you will get this MTL file. If you'll right click, you can able to open with the word pad. So once you, when you will open with the word pad, you will get this, all the details about the Landsat imagery, which you have downloaded. So this is the imagery from where you have downloaded. After that, when you will come downside, you will get the detail about the row and path of the image. Then what date it is downloaded then cloud cover it is containing, then the sun azimuth angle, sun elevation angle, earth sun distance, all the detail is given here, datum. Then when you will come downside, that is a reflectance values are given there. All these things are there in the metadata, which will helpful us to calculate the land surface temperature. Also, we'll get this K1 and K2 constant values are there. That is also useful for calculating the elastic. So let will understand the process first. So when you will calculate the ML into QCAL plus AL, we need to calculate the brightness temperature. Okay. Converting top of the atmospheric image to top of the atmospheric brightness temperature, we require this K2 and K1 value. So this K2 and K1 value will get from here. That is from metadata. So after getting this, we need to calculate the NDVI, okay? So to calculate the NDVI, we require a band 5 from the Landsat 8 and 9 and then red band, that is a band 4. So when you'll go to the Landsat 8, you'll see the NR minus red divided by NR plus red. It means this formula we'll use from this band 5 and band 4 imagery. So when you will use this formula, NR minus red divided by NR plus, you will get the NDVI. Once you'll get the NDVI, we need to calculate the proportion of vegetation. Okay, PV we need to calculate. So to calculate the PV, we require this NDVI. We'll get the minimum maximum value from this NDVI. And after calculating the PV, we need to calculate the surface emissivity. So surface emissivity, we, surface emissivity will calculate from this formula that is 0 0.004 into that PV plus this some default values are there. So when we will calculate the brightness temperature and surface emissivity, we'll use this to calculate our land surface temperature. So here in the formula, we'll use this BT and surface emissivity and finally we'll get the land surface temperature. So same thing we're applying here in the formula. Okay. So if I'll open this in side by side, you will understand this, that Landsat band 10 we are using. After that, we are calculating the brightness temperature. Okay, to calculate the brightness temperature, this formula we are using and this scale factor is there. So after this, we need to calculate the NDVI. 
okay we are calculating the ndvi after calculating the ndvi we require this normalized difference function where we are able to use the band 5 minus band 4 okay and after that we are calculating the proportion of vegetation that is a pv so formula ndvi minus ndvi mean divided by ndvi max minus ndvi mean okay after using this we able to calculate the proportion of vegetation to calculate the pv this formula is there that is 0 0.004 into proportion of vegetation and after this when we'll get the emissivity and this then we can able to calculate the land surface temperature so we want this land surface temperature in celsius okay so these steps we need to write okay after writing these steps we need to remove the cloud cover so we require a cloud free image to calculate the lst so this function will helpful to get the cloud free image and we are masking with this function okay then we are using this mask so after this this is the information about the landsat 8 and landsat 9 which we are using so here image collections so this image collections you will see here once you will search that is ee dot image collections or you can search here that is a landsat 8 or landsat 9 you will get the detail about all these bands okay so this image collections i'm interested to prepare lst for using landsat so landsat and also landsat 9 and then we need to do filter bond with the study area so whatever the landsat available from that i want only for my study area and after that for a particular time period i want it for image for 2023 in between march to may same thing we are doing with the landsat 9 data set so this cloud mask function we use to remove the cloud okay and to mask the cloud after this adding a landsat 8 and landsat 9 we have selected in this range what are the landsat 8 landsat 9 will come we want lst for that and first thing is that how we'll able to add the study area okay that i didn't show you but if i delete this okay so <clears throat> you can able to take the polygon from here you draw a polygon whatever you want study area after that this will add here and we need to add we need to provide a name here that is a study area okay so study area enter so this is your study area and you are interested to calculate lst for this region so after adding the study area you can also able to add study area from here shape file okay once shape file will add here we can able to add that shape file here as well okay so once you will able to add this image collections we need to use this dot merge collection where we are merging landsat 8 and landsat 9 into a single collections for further analysis okay then here we are getting the mean lst across all image in the merge collection okay mean lst and this result is clipped to the boundary of the study area using study area shape file after that we want this to be zoom when we'll click here it will zoom to the 10 level okay whatever level you want like 10 8 that you can able to add here and where you will able to see mean lst there is a blue color you will see where there is a max lst you will red color you will see in between you will see the green color okay and this for is for to export the lst this will helpful to export the lst so i'm interested to export to this my drive okay so scale is a 30 meter because landsat is 30 meter and i want to export it only for my study area okay and let will run this once you will run you will see this is coming here to export okay and if i uncheck this you will see the lst for that region where you will able to see the blue color the area is having a lower temperature it is usually water body area and where you will able to see the green color it is a moderate and the red area is showing the higher temperature 
So we can able to export this. If you'll click on the run, you provide the LST, what are the year you are downloading? LST Landsat 8 or 9. And you can able to export run. Once we'll run, this will get in your drive and you can able to open in your desired software. Like I will open in ArcMap, I have already exported. And after export it, you'll able to see the same file I have exported earlier. And you can able to provide a color to this, apply okay. So in that you will able to see this variable, wherever you will able to say red color, there are higher ULST, that is land surface temperature. Where you will able to see this color, that is a water body area. And you will able to see the minimum temperature. You can, you can also add satellite view here. Okay. And you can able to check as well. So this is the water body area. We'll see the lower LST and wherever you will, you will able to see the water body area. There is a temperature is lower and then the remaining barren land and all that you will see the higher temperature okay so same way you can able to see here as well so highest temperature lower temperature to higher temperature you can also change the color what are the color ramp you want you can also open this file in qgis or any other softwares if you are interested okay so this way very easily we can able to prepare this land surface temperature using the landsat 8 and landsat 9 data set if you are having any doubt regarding all these things you can ask in the comment sections if you are having any doubt or require any help you can reach out to me details is given in the description box if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you